Welcome to Rain is Over. Please go to my channel, also the notification bell, and like this video and share. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. How are you handling this coronavirus? And this too shall pass. I understand we're going to epidemic of quarantine and people have to hold a mask over their faces to make sure they don't get the disease called coronavirus. We are going to extremes to make sure we are in a safe environment, but at the end of the day, it could cause depression. Remember one thing, this too shall pass. What's up? What's up? How you doing? How you been? What's going on? What's good? Are you getting it in? Somebody getting it for you? What's going on, people? Subscribe to my channel. What's going on, people? It is the day. Of another day, another day that we call coronavirus. We're going through it. Anyway, anyway, being said, what's some people, hopefully, everybody's doing everything as far as being safe. And this world is living and knocking down doors and making your dreams come true and practicing ignore. Now, I want to share notes with you as far as the quarantine, is everything being locked down. As far as Jersey, we have the lockdown that has to take place around 8 o'clock. So 8 o'clock is the curfew which you all are on. It means that you are not supposed to be seen outside at 8 o'clock. And we already know about the follow the rules. And I'm not talking about me because I don't really come out late anyway, you know what I mean? So it's not a big deal to me. Whatever I got to do to girls like me, we basically get out early in the morning and get back home before, you know, we still before it's 12 o'clock. You know, to kind of, to kind of wake up all the Uber live stuff, the extra that come in the afternoon and stuff. You know, the thing about it is that sometimes we're in urban areas that suppress or depressed areas where it's not as welcoming. You know, and the thing about it, we have to be more careful. And the thing about it is that we live in the world of coronavirus. Now, I think just when we was going to work and stuff, we was going to work and all of a sudden out of Google Scott, we was hearing this thing about the coronavirus that's happening. And we started hearing these things like a plague. You know, like the fog, it just started slowly coming in. And then you know, this starts about people being, that's dying from this stuff. And you're like, well, that can't be me, that can't be me. Then we're talking about they got 283 cases in Newark. Forgive me if I'm not giving it accurate, but it was 200 or something. And the people who walked, they were driving by the cars. They were saying they said stay inside, keep social distance, stuff like that, which is not a bad thing with me because I don't mind y'all staying with me. So it just became problematic. Then all of a sudden it became a problem when, you know, the girls like me, you know, basically you want to go get your beauty supplies, you want to get your nails, you know, the glue to keep it on, you want to get the cosmetic stuff as far as makeup, lipstick, pencil, to draw in your face, and this sort of stuff. <sighs> Thank God for me, I got a lot of stuff on sale, you know what I mean? So I can kind of backtrack into my old archives and stuff of makeup that I've never worn before or put on that I really didn't like it, but guess what? It comes in handy because now you like it. You know, the thing is like, I don't know what y'all been doing as far as um, as far as dealing with this whole thing, as far as the board, boredom, because a lot of times, you know, you're like, I'm bored, I don't watch enough Netflix, I don't talk to enough people, what should I do? Well, what is, what is what I've been doing? I've been actually going on YouTube and stuff. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Basically, I've been doing that only because I'm nosy. And I was like, you know, you click on some everything. Everybody shares this story. I guess that's what I'm doing right now. So the thing about they get their blogs, so I kind of stayed away from the celebrity stuff because I really don't care, and I kind of stayed with the people that's different. You know, I'm a I'm a I'm a spokesperson, but not a spokesperson. I I run with the people who are different. That means you're a big girl, you're a tall girl, you're a heavyset girl, you're gay, straight, bi, trans, whatever the case may be, I'm pansexual, anything. I'm listen. Look, I'm listening to your story. I'm like this. How much of this will you share? You know, and I'm always wondering. How far is enough enough? Then I went to go look at the girls doing lace fronts and all the girls doing braids and stuff like that. And, and then you already know when the boyfriend tag. Because I'm like, let me go on the boyfriend tag, which means I'm going to be no to looking at the girl's man. And I'm looking at a man and stuff like that, you know, low key, wishing that that was me. Not him, but you know what I mean? Me doing a video about my man, but clearly that's not happening. That's not happening. Oh. 
I just find it amazing how we're in this spot right now, this quarantine that's going on. But the thing about it is that you can look at it as a good thing. And I'm going to tell you why. Despite all the bad part about it, people deaf and you know the family chip my prayers when those type of things happen because that's detrimental and that's problematic and even their friends that's in prison and stuff that's talking about the guys that are dying right there in prison and possibly because I find amazing y'all got, got cell phones which is a, to me my personal opinion I think every cell me in prison should have their own cell phone as long as y'all paying the bill put money in the books them, um, cell phones to be on I feel like they should have it because at the end of the day it's an outside for looking in and alright think about it they're already incarcerated but at the end of the day it is what it is and I was recording that his friend had um, coronavirus and stuff and he was sick and he didn't know what to do. I'm not sure if it was in the cell, the same cell with each other because that means that his friend is sick and that means he's breathing the same thing. And he has the mask in his face. I didn't know they had masks in prison but I guess, you know, it is what it is. It's horrible. It's horrible. And the thing is like, you know, I, I watched that and then, oof. It's, 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 a, it's, it's a mess, but anyway, let's stay focused. The thing is, like I was saying, a good thing, and this is a good part of it. Mind, mind of that part, you know, the great ear, which is bad. My heart goes out to them as well. But it's the thing. They allegedly supposed to give us a check, I think, for twelve hundred dollars and stuff. I'm waiting to see if that comes true. I understand what the media is putting out there, but at the end of the day, I want facts. I'm a cursed person that deal with facts. I don't go by speculation. Allegedly, I need to see the check. I want to know. How are you going to be sending me this check? When would I be getting this check? And I need to get this check. At the end of the day, they told us not to go to work. Well, obviously, a lot of the works have closed down. So far, it's estimated that 6 million people have not been working or laid off in their work. You go outside, it's like nobody's walking around. Everybody's inside. It is like a plague. But the thing about it is that if it is true, when they talk about the $1,200, what you can look at is this. They're giving me $1,200. To basically pay my bills, and some people rent it to more higher than that. And my my heart goes out to you as well, because I know you're being a nice ear. That's why I live in a dub, honey. Because at the end of the day, I live within my means. I understand you make money, so you live within your means. I live within my means, and I live in a dump. Because at the end of the day, stuff like this have me prepared for the worst. So that little check is going to help me and stuff like that. And. When you're in an urban area, which I find to be amazing, they got the um, grocery store open, but they got the liquor store open. Now I'm saying to myself, why do you got the liquor store open? That has to do with the whole situation. Not that I'm complaining, because at the end of the day, you know, mother loves a good drink. So, this is what I see it. On a positive note, what you can look at it. So, but you can if you want, if you don't want you, it is what it is. Then you know how to do the 4th of July, the cookouts and stuff. You go to the store, you get your food and stuff like that, basically you get a little check, I'm sure it's a little, you know, if you, if you anything like me, you can stretch a dollar. Get you some food, they paying you to stay home, supposed to be, allegedly. Go to the liquor store, get your drink, liquor, come back at home and start cooking you something to eat. It's like a cookout at home. Now some people say, well baby, I want to cook every day at home. Listen, at the end of the day, you have to make the best of a worse situation. But you can look at it and say, well, I'm going to cook out. I'm going to cook some food. I'm going to cook me some food. Have me some drinks. Couple of everybody, everybody will have coronavirus. You can invite some friends over. And basically, y'all can sit around and cook. You know what I mean? And make the best of a worse situation. Don't make it such a dark spirit soul that sits inside of you. You become very depressed. And other things. And take it down areas you really don't want to go to. And I've been talking to a lot of friends of mine who have their own business, their own company. They are very much afraid. And I try to talk them through it and stuff like that. And I think it's good to talk to people like me because we're poor. So what y'all going through, we've already been here. So it's kind of like the CEO of Urban Close to Nothing, you know, struggle. But the thing about it is that a lot of stores are not opening. And I definitely wanted the beauty supply place to open this. But it's I'm looking down the street now because I'm looking at far from some walk and I'm looking. I said, oh my God, it's closed. I stopped. Everybody's staring at me I'm like, but at the end of the day, it is what it is. But how are you dealing with it? That's my question to you. Are your areas really affected a lot more or all the stores closed down? Now, however, I have been told that some beauty supply places are open and a lot of stores are open, but I don't know where, this, where they're located. I think those for people who have cars, but me, myself, I don't have a car. I'm on a bus and at the end of the day, 
it ain't worth it to go all the way down to the area where I'm thinking the store is open to only find out that it's closed. I'm not doing it. Then to stand back outside once again to wait for the bus to come, to come back home. I'll take your word on it. Y'all said it's closed, it's closed. Buyer be well. But how will you deal with this whole situation and how will you make it a positive? You know, the thing about it is sometimes you have to make the best of a worst situation and find ways to make it fun not so depressing and you're checking up on your friends hey boo what you doing you know what i mean it's a kind of like checking on us some of them that then someone could kill us but at the end of the day i just think it's a way that we can kind of make it a positive thing even because it's so dark and we can't let that darkness live in our soul that we become depressed you know when this start thinking of things we should not be thinking of in that dark green area anyway i just want to share this stuff with you on today i've been staying low um you know mothers live and the thing about it is that I just been finding new ways. I just watch YouTube and stuff like that. And thank God for YouTube. It's definitely thank you YouTube for all those wonderful things. But I just want to know how you're dealing with this. And did you know about the word for tag? And did you know the good YouTube? And you know to see different things at different stores. People are sharing a lot more because they're home. You know my favorite couple. Russell is Wilson Buck. and Sierra. Those are my couples and my couples go. Sierra. So I'm watching them back and forth. In my, in my mind, mind that's, that's the life I want. So I keep it positive. I also say to my screensavers for couples because I feel like you want to pull that energy to you. If you want a man, Raven, put couple pictures up everywhere and a Lord will send you a man. Just let him be working and don't steal. Anyway, I just want to share this with you. Let me know how it's affecting your area. I'll put down below where your area and just let me know if the stores are open, they close. Is it really bad, bad, or it's just bad? Anyway. Like I said before, share this video if we can. Want to show some love throughout the world. Give you ideas to deal with the situation. This quarantine is not going away no time soon. We have to make the best of a worse situation. And I want to let you know I love you. And thank you for watching. Kiss the rain. All right. Come on, baby. Let's go on and start His heart being me, his heart being me, be me. Like I said before, subscribe to my channel to top this Instagram button. If you follow me, I'll follow you back. Also, there's a PayPal. Comment below, let me know feel about this video. Did they encourage you to do something that's very positive? We have to share the strength within each other to make sure each other is okay. I am my brother's keeper. Love you. Love you.